some of you know a little bit about my story. It's a decade long journey um, that started with infertility. Um, my husband and I decided it was time to try to have kids and grow our family, but we quickly learned that we were not gonna have the typical um, journey that most young people hope for. Um, we learned that I have a really bad case of endometriosis um, that's led to me having six or seven lung surgeries and six abdominal surgeries where I had to be in the hospital for days and weeks and um, lots of recovery and lots of pain and lots of sadness, but um, we're getting through it. And I've had weird complications, weirdest surgical complications that you can't even imagine. Be happy to share them with you at a later date though if you'd like to hear about it. Um, my journey culminates this past year after multiple surgeries, like I said, had a lot. Um, I ended up with complications that led to um, massive MRSA infections and I almost died from a sponge that was left in me after a surgery I had last fall. During this time that I was in the hospital, this was, would have been December 2022, um, my mom died of some sort of mystery cancer. She was in the hospital for five days. Um, I couldn't go to her funeral. I was stuck in the hospital um, watching her services on FaceTime. Since then, um, I ended up going into a deep state of um, depression and anxiety after that. I have found that through this, I have been able to deepen my relationship with the Lord. Um, and He's given me a new fire in my soul that I've never felt before, that the enemy is trying so hard to quench. And I think that's where um, perseverance comes in and we, we have to work every day really hard to fight against him. And some days it's so hard, some days it's a little easier, but God knows that. And he will help you. He will help with that. He helps, he helps more ways than you can even know, ways that you wouldn't think he's helping you, he's helping you. If it weren't for my husband and our three-year-old amazing little son, Rody. There would be many days that I wouldn't be able to get out of bed. And I do know that that is there, there in my life because God knew I would need them. God knew I needed them to get through these days and these weeks and this season. He wants to do that for us. He wants to shower us with his gifts. And um, so even when it doesn't feel like it, we have we've been given a lot. You are not alone. God is with you. and. He's fighting with you, you need only just be still. That's God speaking to us, telling us, slow down and just listen. Um, and let me love you. Let me hold you and um, heal you. I think that is, is what helps a lot. It's just realizing, remembering that it's okay. And I have to tell myself that every day because he does want to heal. He does want to bring rest. So I think just remembering that and keeping that in mind and not letting our own minds and expectations that we have be louder than what he's saying.